So if you've ever gone over to microphoneparts.com and you've wondered to yourself, how do these circuits sound? Well, the answer is pretty, pretty good. As a matter of fact, you're listening to the Mic Parts T8455 circuit right now. Check it out. You're listening to the dangerous mind of Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov. No excuses, no BS, no pants. Hey everybody, so over the last few years I have purchased and built a number of the microphone part circuits. This is a cheapy M-Audio Nova body with the Mic Parts T8455 circuit, which drops right in. Uh, it also has a 3U Audio Flat K87 capsule in it, which is a really cool hybrid capsule that Guoxing designed. And uh, overall, I think this yields a really nice microphone for not a whole lot of money. The mic part circuit uh, is about $200 US. So uh, this, uh, yeah, it sounds pretty good, right? So let's run some copy through it. All right, hold on. I had a couple of spots pulled up here. I did so many spots this week. So many, they were all over the place too. All right, here's one. <laughs> this one's good. This is a real spot. To all the poutine lovers and the poutine curious out there, Poutine Feast is the world's largest traveling festival celebrating this iconic Canadian food. This free admission event has something for the whole family. <laughs> poutine Feast. So yeah, I, I think that this mic delivers. I really like it. And it has, it's designed, the circuit is designed uh, with a little bit of extra second harmonic content. So it has just a little bit of character in there, but still feels very detailed. It doesn't have that overly squishy, uh, you know, kind of muddy kind of character to it. Now, the one thing that I did here, the, the chain you're listening to is really simple. This is the SSL going into the Oxford Dynamic EQ and uh, into the Valley People Dynamite. There is no compression on this whatsoever, um, other than what the dynamic EQ is applying uh, by doing its thing. And, uh, you know, it, it sounds pretty good. There's no de on this at all. Um, so here, the dynamic EQ is just doing a little clarity kind of. Hold on, that's, that's my chair <laughs> squeaking. So here, let me, if I take the dynamic EQ out, Right? It still sounds really great. All it's really doing, it, I, I'm using the clarity setting on the uh, Sonics Oxford Dynamic EQ. So all it's really doing when I click it back in is it takes away a little bit of that, uh, kind of I think a little bit of that uh, muddiness that's down there that, that you're getting from proximity effect because I'm right here. So I'm getting all the character being up close without all the, you know, all that extra, too much of that low mid uh, push right around 300 hertz or so. So yeah, overall, I think this is a really nice mic using a very simple chain and you get really great results. So, you know, um, Matt over at uh, micparts.com. I met the guy a couple of times and he's a really nice guy. And uh, you know what? <laughs> I think he thinks I'm a complete jerk for some reason, but you know, yeah. <laughs> but I really like the mic parts stuff. It's really simple to build, which is really cool, you know? Having built microphones like where you have to source all the parts, so you have to go and, you know, like the Danny Bouchard uh, microphone, uh, the D87, right? You have to buy the boards, you have to buy the body, you have to buy all the parts, you have to source all the parts, and sometimes you can't find all the parts from one location. Sometimes you can't order all the parts from Mauser. Sometimes you have to order some parts from here and some parts from there. And, you know, it's a, it's a chore. And if you love building microphones, you know, it's part of the process. But Mic Parts makes it so easy. They send you everything and then they give you this manual, step-by-step -step how to build everything with pictures and it's explained really well. So yeah, if, if you can solder and follow instructions, you can probably put one of these mics together really easily. So I'm, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Um, this is not a paid endorsement. This is just, this is like some me fanboying the crap out of this Mic Parts stuff. So yeah, the T8455 circuit dropped into an M Audio Nova. I like it. All right, what do you think? I want to know. Leave it in the comments. All right, until next time, this is Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov, fading to black.